So friends, let's do one thing. Uh, let's start. Let's let's discuss uh, wedge constraint. Okay. This is a very important point. Okay. This wedge constraint is a very very important uh, point in the mechanics, typically in the laws of motion. Now, what does the wedge constraint says? Okay. Now, try to understand. Listen carefully. It says that, it says that, if two surfaces, if two surfaces moves in such a fashion, moves in such a fashion, so that they are always in contact with each other, so that they are always in contact with each other, then the acceleration of one with respect to another is parallel to the two surfaces which are in contact. Okay? Let me repeat. If two surfaces, if two surfaces, for example, for example, 1 and 2, object 1 and 2, okay? Here, everything is smooth, everything is free to move. Two will move towards right, one will move down the plane. Okay? Now, look at this. Okay? One thing you must realize is this. Suppose, suppose somebody is observing the motion of this object 1 from the ground. Let's say t equal to 0. At t equal to 0, this block 1 was here and and the wedge is here. Okay? After few seconds, what is going to happen? Wedge will be somewhere here. After few seconds, wedge will be somewhere here. And and one will be somewhere here. Okay? So, so with respect to this person, Mr. A, with respect to A, Mr. A, can you say that one is moving in this direction? Answer is no. As far as A is concerned, one is this is the initial location of 1, this is the final location of 1, so 1 is moving in this direction as observed by Mr. A. Okay? Now, what if a person is standing here? Okay? Let's say, let's say I am, let's say I am standing here and my name is B, then what you will observe? Later on, at some other instant of time, wedge will be somewhere here, and 2 will be here. Agree? So with respect to B, I can say that this object 1 is moving down the plane. But with respect to A, with respect to A, you cannot say that the 1 is moving down the plane, one is moving in some very arbitrary direction. Agree? Okay? So the very first point you must realize is this. There is going to be a difference in the observation of Mr. A and Mr. B. A will say that, A will say that object 1 is not moving down the plane or he might say the acceleration of 1 with respect to ground. Let me repeat. Acceleration of 1 with respect to ground is, is not in this direction. Okay? <coughs> but B might say acceleration of 1, acceleration of 1, with respect to B or equally well with respect to wedge. Acceleration of 1 with respect to B or acceleration of 1 with respect to wedge is in which direction? This direction. Agree or not? Is it the acceleration of 1 with respect to ground? No, no, no. It is not the acceleration of 1 with respect to ground. It is the acceleration of 1 with respect to wedge. Therefore, 
I must call it relative acceleration. I'm, I'm, I'm showing it by a relative a rel. Okay. So the first point is there is going to be difference in the observation of a and observation of b. Now, now let's 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 now let's apply the theory that what we have learned, which is what was a wedge constraint, which says that if if two objects object 1 and object 2 look at this object 1 and object 2 if these two objects are moving in such a fashion so that so that they are always in contact with each other look at this initially object 1 and object 2 are in contact at some later instant of time, again, object 1 and object 2 is in, constant, is in contact. Indeed, object 1 and object 2 are always in contact. So, I can say that these two objects are moving in such a fashion so that they are always in contact with each other. It, if, now the wedge constraint says that if two objects are moving in such a fashion, so that they are always in contact with each other, then acceleration of one with respect to another, acceleration of one with respect to another will be parallel to the two surfaces which are in contact. Now, what are the two surfaces which are in contact? Object number two surface is this. Agree? Object number one surface is shown with the blue color. Do you think that these two surfaces, blue and red, they are in contact? Actually, object one and object two are in contact. Of the blue surface is of object one. Red surface is of object 2, the acceleration of 1 with respect to 2, acceleration of 1, acceleration of 1 with respect to 2 must be parallel to the two surfaces, blue and red, must be parallel to the two surfaces which are in contact. Here, blue and red surface are in contact. So, this acceleration, which I have shown earlier by a relative, this acceleration, that is acceleration of 1 with respect to 2, must be down the plane. That's what wedge constraint says. Wedge constraint says that acceleration of 1 with respect to 2 must be in this direction. Mind you, this is the acceleration of 1 with respect to 2 or with respect to, with respect to B. It is not the acceleration of 1 with respect to A. Acceleration of 1 with respect to A is not in this direction. Make it clear. Okay? Let's take... One more example. Look at this. Here, object 1 and object 2 are in contact with respect to ground. This is Mr. A. With respect to ground, object 2 will move towards right and object 1 will move in the downward direction. So, what is the observation of Mr. A? Mr. A will say object 2 is accelerating in the horizontal direction. Mr. A will report object 1.